New Austin is a quiet, rugged desert territory. For the most part, it's relatively sleepy, barring the animals and the outlaws. By 1907, one gang in particular had a strong grasp on New Austin. They robbed, they killed, they terrorised, and as a result, travelling around New Austin became a perilous task. I am, of course, talking about the Del Lobo gang. Our story actually begins eight years prior in a different location entirely, the mountains of Amberino, where we are sent by author Theodore Levin to find Flaco Hernandez, a famous gunslinger and member of the Del Lobo gang. He can be located in a shack by a pond just east of Calta. However, when you arrive, it quickly becomes evident that he is not alone, as at a camp outside of the shack, we can find some rather aggressive looking men. There's no sign of Flaco out here, so he must be inside the hut itself. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill hey, Mr. Now let's go speak to Flacco Hernandez. Flacco Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. I'm unarmed. <coughs> King Gallo. I just want to talk. How boy, Calloway? Sure. Here's your message. Obviously, dueling him had to not end well for somebody. Might as well be him. And just like that, a major blow has been dealt to the Del Lobo gang. In dealing with the Del Lobos here, we get a little bit of information about them in our compendium. The Del Lobo gang consists of mostly Mexican men who were outlaws, exiles, or opportunists. Loyalty is not something that is deemed important. The dispute between Mexico and America has brought this gang to the town of Thieves Landing. Here they steal, fight, and often kill people. We have to wait until the epilogue before we can go to Thieves Landing, which is in 1907. Thieves Landing isn't too difficult to find, it's just a little ways southwest of Blackwater. Here it's made blatantly obvious just how influential the Del Lobos are on this settlement. They literally run the place. The Del Lobos are in complete control of Thieves Landing. There are many gang members here just patrolling the docks and watching the road that passes through. Of course, we can't let them stay here, so we need to wipe them out. On the way into camp, you can hear a couple of gang members entertaining the idea of going to Blackwater where the pickings are richer, and a bunch of other dialogue that would unnecessarily blow this video. And just like that, Thieves Landing is now clear of Del Lobos. And before you say it, yes, that triple lightning strike was awesome. So we've eradicated Thieves Landing's vermin problem, or at least one of them. Now it's time to pick up the booty that they've stashed here. On the boat, you can find some treasure. If you head down to the lower deck, you will find a couple of golden nuggets. There's also a chest down here, but every time I open it, it turns up empty. Inside one of the buildings, you can also find a bit of money on a table that was set up for a card game. And of course, you can find the obvious bits and pieces you can find laying about inside most interiors. Before we progress further into the hotter parts of New Austin, it's worth mentioning that we also encounter the Del Lobos in the main story in the epilogue. In part two of the epilogue, there is a mission called the Quick Favor for an Old Friend, in which the ever-petrifying Sadie Adler shows up, and we accompany her on a bounty, hunting down a member of the Del Lobos. John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John! How are you? Well, hello, Uncle! Nice to see you! And you too! Oh, shut up, you old creep! <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kinda desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. 
I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. Of course, our travels will take us across New Austin to assist the Sheriff of Tumbleweed in due time, but for now, we need to hunt down Ramon Cortez. This is Painted Sky up here. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll pick the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt! Don't fight it! Just drift away! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. up here. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> So after a short while waiting guarding Ramon Cortez, we soon realise just how resourceful and ruthless the Del Lobos can be. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas! We want our friend back! You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools! One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him have it, boys! Del Lobos! Oh, get oh. ready! Kyle! Come on! Let's run these cowards out of town! Come on, man! Shut up! I guess we're keeping him! What was 
is it? Come on! The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. And so now we have to chase down Ramon Cortez again. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. up easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! No matter what, the Del Lobos just seem to keep on coming. There seems to be no end to their ranks. Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. <laughs> Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? On the ride back, Cortez once again tries the offer money tactic. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? 
I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big oh, mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. Now, hopefully this time we can pass the bounty over to the sheriff without any form of interruption. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> so with Thieves Landing and Ramon Cortez, this little sect of boys dealt with, let's now head deeper into New Austin to see this dire situation for ourselves. The first place that we'll probably come across is Armadillo, a town stricken by cholera. We'll ride into town to see the Del Lobos directly harassing the sheriff. Here, sheriff. And we got some money. You're gonna bring him out? We rode a long way. I'm happy okay. to shoot up we the jailhouse. We got some business with the sheriff. You don't want to disappoint us, sheriff. We're a nervous bargain. bunch, okay? Put your Back guns away. Be smart, okay? Listen to him. I'm glad to see you're a man of your word. Why are you wasting air on him? When you could be wasting bullets. El jefe says you gotta go. If it wasn't for you, sir, if it wasn't for you, whoo, how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you. Though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise, but the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Sad you won't stick around. Well, so long. I must see about a train. So after that, the Sheriff of Armadillo has resigned his post, and he's not hanging around. In fact, without any belongings or even water, he's walked off into the desert. I am very confused, but now the town of Armadillo is completely unprotected from these bandits as the sheriff has no doubt dehydrated to death somewhere in the desert, with the majority of residents of Armadillo not far behind him dehydrating from cholera. This will not be the last time that the Del Lobos decide to make a pit stop in Armadillo. The settlement is severely weakened, making any valuables present here easy pickings. There it is. Open up the windows for them. Let them air in. Hey, amigo! You okay there? Put your head off so we can see you're right. You're a pistolet. Ain't no one gonna thank me. 
So it's quite obvious that this gang harasses the town of Armadillo for fun, sometimes purely because they can. It's not really like this place has much to offer anyway. It's quite obvious that in its dying state, the town of Armadillo is not going to be at the forefront of defeating the Del Lobo gang, so of course we're going to have to move along. Along our travels, we may come across a couple of Del Lobo hideouts. One of them is the infamous Fort Mercer in the Rio Bravo region. The fort is actually not too far west of a place appropriately named Rio Del Lobo Rock. Obviously, these crooks need to be eradicated. Does anyone else think this guy looks a bit like Bugs Bunny if he was shot in the face? Just me? Okay. And there we go, Fort Mercer is now liberated from its outlaw inhabitants. I had a quick sweep around, I couldn't find anything really of value here, just Del Lobos to kill. But they had control over an entire settlement, they had control over this fort, they have masses of influence in Armadillo where they can come and go and harass people as they please. If that doesn't tell you how massive this gang is, then nothing will. Quite far north of Fort Mercer, in fact north of Armadillo, you will find a place called Twin Rocks, which is another Del Lobo hideout. There aren't as many Del Lobos here, however they all need to die just the same. And that's yet another place freed of the vile influence of the Del Lobo gang. We should give ourselves a pat on the back, slowly but surely we are eradicating this rancid bunch of criminals. Sadie Adler suggested that we go check out Tumbleweed and see if we can assist the sheriff. And sure enough, there are bounty hunts active in the town of Tumbleweed. So let's ride into town and make our introductions. Look what I found! He's in the Del Lobo you know what gang! They do with them ten stars in Mexico, boy? Hey! Hey! Keep What's your distance. All the we got business here. You don't release me now. Twelve angry Mexicans is gonna ride through this town. Burn it all to hell. Hey, just passing through. Only don't lock mind me up me. if you want this town you to burn. You stay back, sure. I won't tell you. <laughs> we do not respond amicably to threats. <clears throat> What's the charge? He was robbing a stage. Then the sentence is death. Make hey, your peace, no. partner. The boy was gonna put me in cell! This is wartime, and like you said... No! We can't take the risk. Uh... Sheriff? Okay. From now on, trials are going to be quick, and justice even quicker. We will not submit to these lawless games. Get this trash out of town. How do you do? Where there's one Del Lobo, there'll be more. Well, look who it is. You here to help? Bounty posters are on the wall there. I've seen you round these parts long enough. You know the situation we're in with these Del Lobos. Desperate don't begin to describe it. I'm a helpful sort, I promise. I'll get to your bounty. Joaquin Arroyo. Wanted for a $60 reward. To be captured alive, Arroyo is charged and wanted for questioning in cases of murder, robbery, and arson. Mexican by birth, age 42, 5 feet 9 inches, weight around 150 pounds, complexion dark, mustache, and goatee. He is known to frequent red light district saloons and was spotted near Solomon's Folly. The reward will be paid immediately upon presentation to the office of Sheriff Freeman, Tumbleweed. Let's hear what the crazy Sheriff Freeman has to say about this bounty. Joaquin Arroyo. Word is he's up at Solomon's Folly. These Del Lobo's been killing, 
stealing, torching, and tormenting the good people of this region for too long. Only good one's a dead one. Except if they know a thing or two, and I believe this one does. You bring him here, I'll have a few words, and then I'll send him to St. Peter. You have my sworn oath on that. This bounty... Alive seems a pretty big ask for one of these Del Lobos. It is a pretty big ask, and that's a pretty big price. If you're worried about justice, he won't be alive for long after you walk him through that door. Hmm. I'm gonna ride across the desert, bring you a bounty just so you can kill him. God, no. I'll converse with him first. But after that, things will move real swift around here. Oz ain't a hanging judge, you'll see. He's the I'm with you whatever kind. <laughs> now it's just the not so small task of bringing him in. We'd like that one alive. Sheriff's prerogative. Let justice be swift and absolute. So now in order to hunt Arroyo down, we need to head to a derelict farm. Well, you guessed it, we will find some Del Lobos. We can't kill the kid. Joaquin vouched for him. If Joaquin Arroyo was here, he'd use his own knife on the little squeaker. Oh, oh, Dios mio! Dios mio! Dios mio! Joaquin Arroyo! Joaquin's not here! Please, he's not here! Everything's okay. Just tell me where he is. Hop on the tracks! They're, they're robbing the train! Get out of here before I change my mind. Oh, thank you. Gracias, senor. So now we need to head up the tracks to stop Arroyo and a bunch of other Del Lobos from robbing a train. Arroyo! If you're over there, give up before I start shooting. Arroyo! Arroyo! Ravening! We tell him And just like that, we've got ourselves a wild Joaquin Arroyo. Arroyo? Someone wants to have a talk with you. And you're gonna die hurting. I'm going to watch them do it. And I'm go ah. You have a fine imagination, Arroyo. I'll grant you that. I'll have every the Lobo in nothing come looking for me. We are an army, a legion. You hear those horses, those shots? You know your time has come. Okay, well, I'll take that on board. You know that the Lobos? Hey, we kill them, we burn all the way across the country. You should be scared. You should be quaking in your boots, Paquero. They'll take your ears, they'll take your nose. There won't be nothing left on your head except bone. You sure are colorful. I'm going to take the bounty poster. I'm going to shove it down your mouth, and I'm going to burn you alive, mister. You want to burn? You want to scream? That's what's happening to you. You hear me? Are you listening? What was that? I didn't hear you. Here we are. Our time together is almost at an end. I'm going to see you again, mister. Believe me there. I... Sheriff, you looking for Joaquin Arroyo? I ordered him. Didn't have much hope of seeing him, though. Put him in the cell. You couldn't come get me, Sheriff? <laughs> you yellow belly. You coward. You sent some vaquero. I could have come after you, Arroyo. But it's so damn hot out there, I didn't want to sweat. And my friends, they're gonna come for you. And they'll die too. Now save some breath for my questions, boy. I believe you'll find that figure to your liking. Justice is the real reward. <laughs> Knowing the situation down here, we'll have more posters up. Matter of time is all. Joaquin Arroyo is now in the custody of the Tumbleweed Sheriff. If we come back a couple days later, there will be another bounty active at the Tumbleweed Sheriff's office. Let's go and give it a read over. I'm in trouble, Bounty Hunter. Well, well, you're still here. And so are you, for now. Don't you sub Loki, cabron. For now. You think I'm worried about your little friends? Send them my way, amigo. Ah, I 
see you found our poster. Esteban Cortez, like Ramon Cortez, the Del Lobo we arrested with Sadie Adler. He's probably dead now. The poster offers a $65 reward and says as follows. Esteban Cortez is wanted for $65. As one of the leaders of the Del Lobos gang, which have committed acts of murder against officers of the state and deputized sheriffs, and robbed coaches and trains with impunity, the Del Lobos were last seen near Gaptooth Breach. We would kindly ask the reader to let no opportunity pass whereby they or another person can bring Cortez in dead or alive. They will receive the everlasting gratitude and thanks of mourning and distressed families. You know the Del Lobos, don't you? Of course. Well... This one's the big one, Esteban Cortez, brother of Ramon Cortez, now Watch deceased. Watch yourself around here. Del Lobos ain't one for running, but this bounty's got them spooked. There's a big bunch of them holed up in Gap Tooth Breach, Cortez included. I'll pay him a call. Tell him I knew his brother. Good luck. The bounty Cortez, how many men has he got with him? Tell you what. You shoot them all, then you count the bodies. That's how many was out there. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring some bullets then. If I'm going to get this bounty, is there anything else I should know? This place he's likely at, Gap Tooth Breach, there's an old mine out there. You see, Cortez is a rat. And like a rat, he'll find himself a dark, wet hole to hide in. Okay. I'll see if I can get him out of there. I don't care how you bring him back, long as you bring him. You get me? Let justice be swift and absolute. I get the vibe this sheriff has a catchphrase. Regardless of Sheriff Freeman's choice of motto and whether or not it annoys me, we are now sent not too far southwest of Tumbleweed to a place called Gaptooth Breach. On the way there, I stumbled across a coach robbery in progress. I don't got the key. Still got your wits? Oh, mister, I, I can't even. You have saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Whatever is in that box is yours. I, I'll explain the loss. Far as I'm concerned, you earned it. I just shot first is all. And that is yet another couple of cutthroat Del Lobos dealt with. This time they were trying to rob a stagecoach, not too far away from one of their hideouts at Gaptooth Breach. Now we've engaged in a little bit of heroism, why don't we continue on our journey? Otherwise it'll be yet another new century before we get there. Gaptooth Breach is a rundown mine. And if Sheriff Freeman's insight is to be believed, then we will find Esteban Cortez inside the mine shaft. First we'll need to fight our way to it. Let's quickly take Mr. Cortez outside. My men, you kill them all. They asked for it. Before we take Mr. Cortez here back to the sheriff, let's talk about this building over here. As up the external staircase and inside the office, you will find a few stacks of cash. Which, if I'm going to be honest, our now deceased Del Lobo friends are not going to make very much use of. So pick that money up and remember to use it on something nice. Anyway, our captive is one of the Del Lobo's leaders. Let's get him back to the sheriff. Hey. Who do you 
think you are? Eh? You think you're a big man? You think you're a hero? Ah! Puta! You had your fill. You're doing this bounty hunting for money, hey? Or because you like it? You like the power? Tying people up? <laughs> That's it. Let it out. You're not the law. You're not an outlaw. You're just a bastard. Nothing, man. Hypocrite. You're such a hard ass, eh? Ah, I spit on you. Curse you, bounty hunter. Make you feel better now. He pay you to kill my men. He pay you to kill me. You're just an assassin. A dirty, greedy killer. You like that? You heartless bastard! That's all you were! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time for this certified Budman to face some justice. You asked for Esteban Cortez? Here he is, the son of a bitch. Mr. Cortez, we meet at last. The cell there is made up nice and special. You're going to die! Damn you, cabron! You can count it, or you can trust me. It's all there. If the law's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> I wouldn't come here looking for bounties for a while. The sheriff can only delegate responsibility so long. I want authority, I got to earn it. So suppose that's the last of bounties that I'll get hanging around in Tumbleweed, with the leader of the Del Lobo gang now safely in custody. I think this is worth mentioning more so as a footnote because I don't really play Red Dead Online, at least not that much. But in Red Dead Online we can run into another couple of prominent Del Lobo gang members, the Montez brothers, Alfredo and George, with George being shot and killed at a shootout at yet another Del Lobo hideout, and Alfredo has captured at an intercepted caravan and then executed later on, being deemed too dangerous to be kept alive. Regardless of how many of their boys we kill, the Del Lobo gang seems to keep going stronger and stronger, with their ranks seemingly never thinning. I may have wiped out the gang's presence at Thieves Landing, Twin Rocks, Fort Mercer, Gaptooth Breach, Solomon's Folly. Hell, I even wiped out their presence in the Grizzlies, but there just doesn't seem to be an end to them. By the year 1911, however, nowhere in New Austin are the Del Lobos to be found. It's almost like they've just completely disappeared. By 1911 as well, Tumbleweed is a complete ghost town, with absolutely no occupants whatsoever. So the town of Tumbleweed wasn't able to be saved, for probably a plethora of reasons. But at least we can take solace in knowing that we did our very best to help. And I suppose that is the conclusion of today's video. So thank you all for watching this, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be fantastic. If you want to check out my social media and maybe go ahead and help out the channel on Patreon, then the links are all in the description, though please don't feel forced to. And with any luck, I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point, but until then, goodbye.